So we have uh, Lauren up next. Let me see here. Lauren has uh, some Bigfoot stuff. You're getting you're getting all the Bigfoot calls. You know yes. what it is. Doctor Ben uh, said uh, to all these Bigfoot people last week. Said call back when Brain Bugs here. And now Genevieve gets stuck dealing with the Bigfoot callers too. But I love I'm them. So I hope you, hope you enjoy them too. Lauren, you are on with Brain Bug and Genevieve. Uh, how's it going? <laughs> Good. How are you? Oh, doing great. Uh, doing great. Having a great time talking about, we just talked about UFOs and we had some vortexes and stuff before, but we understand that you have some Bigfoot stuff you'd like to talk about this evening. Um, sure. I don't know where to start, but um, yeah, I've been a big fan of Bigfoot since I was probably nine or 10 years old. Um, I didn't really have any prior experience with uh, Bigfoot, but uh, you know, my mom and dad took me to go see Sasquatch in the movie theater. I was about it was about 1977. Uh, so that was actually my first real introduction to Bigfoot. I had no idea what, what he was or what he was about. Mine was uh, Harry and the Hendersons. Growing up. Yours was Harry and the Hendersons? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I've been, I've been obsessed nah. with it ever since. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I think what stuck with me watching that movie as a kid was the high-pitched howl that he gave out. I mean, that chilled me to my core when I first heard it in the theater. And, uh, you know, I, it, it scared me. I, I didn't know what it was about. I mean, I, I thought, you know, if we go camping, I was going to run into a Bigfoot that I didn't know about before. Uh, uh, you know, but I grew up watching a $6 million man as a kid, you know, and seeing bionic Bigfoot. So, uh, you know, I had this fascination with Bigfoot all this time. And, uh, yeah, I didn't know if he was real or not. At that point, I really didn't care. I still don't care. I I want to believe in Bigfoot. So, you know, like I said, there was, you know, not much uh, technology back then. You know, so we get these little blurry photographs or maybe a, a casting of a Bigfoot print. Yeah. Uh, you know, back then, but that was about all we got. You know, so now with the technology that we have, hidden cameras and uh cell phones and stuff like that Trail everything cams. is being reported mm -hmm. now so it's a lot more compelling evidence oh yeah so you know, is so there a I don't piece of evidence that. that you find particularly compelling pardon is there a piece of evidence that you find particularly compelling i i like to watch a show called paranormal caught on camera so there's usually videos about sasquatch every mm -hmm. week uh, you know, that somebody sends in, I mean, it's, it's really compelling evidence that, uh, you know, he actually exists, but, you know, I really enjoy the mystery of it, you know, trying to figure out, uh, you know, what he is and where he come from and, you know, why you don't see, uh, you know, a Bigfoot body in the woods or something like that, that, you know, had died, yeah, uh, you know, or bones or something like that. You there's know, a lot I've heard of a questions. couple of theories over Pardon? There, there are a lot of questions about the uh, the pedigree of, of what a what a Sasquatch would be. Got any uh, got any personal theories on that? You said yeah. Um, I, I've heard somebody say that they believe that Bigfoot isn't necessarily Bigfoot; that he is basically a ghost from, uh, you know, the caveman era you know, still hanging around. And I don't, I don't think I'd buy into that one. That one's kind of a too far fetched for me. Well, there, um, but yeah. I actually heard a story just, you know, within this past year that I never really thought much about that, uh, you know, some say that uh, he can actually travel between dimensions. And, uh, you know, I probably buy into that one a lot more than I do anything else. You know, and I live on the Oregon coast, so there's a lot of dense wooded area around and, you know, I've heard a lot of stories in my area of sightings, um, you know, very, very close to me, you know, just on the, the bridge, leaving my town to go to another town. You know, I've heard somebody say that, you know, they have actually seen a adult uh, Sasquatch with a juvenile walking alongside the road, you know, so living over here on the Oregon coast, I've only been living over there for about two years now. Um, you know, so I have these, these hopes of 
seeing something one of these days. You haven't seen but, anything yet? Uh, who's today? I have not seen anything yet, unfortunately. So, you know, I am on the lookout every time I drive through there. Um, are you uh, are you in city limits? Are you out in uh, the rural area? I'm in city limits, uh, but, you know, I have a lot of space in between there, it, you know, in between each town that I travel through. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I so said, there's been a, a lot, lot of time of passing gen- through. Or- yeah. It's been a lot of time passing yeah. through rural areas though. And never, never, never had you know, any I know uh, that- experiences, never heard a, a uh, sound in the night or anything. Not any sounds. No, but I, there's a, a town just on the other side of our bridge uh, called Gardner. And there's an old, old cemetery, but the town itself is very small, very, very old, right there on the coast. And there's a cemetery that, you know, a lot of my family is actually uh, bur- are buried at the cemetery, you know, but there's a wooded area just on the other side of that cemetery, you know, and I've heard people say that they've heard Sasquatch noises coming through, you know, from them woods, you know, but I'm also a paranormal investigator. So, uh, you know, it's something that I would like to, uh, you know, hopefully have an experience one of these days. But so, no, uh, if you, you haven't know, had a, you haven't had a Bigfoot experience, but you're a paranormal investigator. Have you had any paranormal experiences? I've had a lot of paranormal experiences. Oh, yeah. Is so any of them that I, I you think mean, would be compelling to us? Uh-huh. I have photograph evidence. I've got, you know, stories to tell from, uh, you know, various investigations that I've done in, uh, you know, a couple different states. So I do a lot of community theater. So the building that we use as our theater is well over 100 years old, you know, so that's one of my favorite places to investigate whenever I get a chance. And, um, you know, I've got a lot of stories to tell about that place. So. Oh, well, yeah, I say uh, we talk about those kind of experiences, too. So, yeah, if you want to uh, gather up some of those for us uh, and, and give us a give us a call sometime and we can we can uh, kind of go over those experiences, too, because we love ghost uh, experiences. We love uh, Bigfoot's great, too, and, and Sasquatch. Uh, uh-huh. But uh, but th- that's a personal favorite of mine. Uh, UFOs, all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, if you have experiences, yeah. if anybody out there in the and the, just to to get up on my soapbox for a minute, anybody out there in the in the live chat, anybody out there listening at home, if you have an experience like uh, like with ghost or with Bigfoot or UFOs, yeah, we got a number that's running down below the, below us here. You can give that a call, and uh, I think we still have a few spots open. Mm-hmm. We we we. Had quite a few calls at the beginning, but yeah, we do have a couple spots open if anybody wants to call in. Uh, but yes, Lauren, uh, this has been uh, been fascinating to uh, kind of pick your brain about Bigfoot and uh, Bigfoot sightings in your area. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you have, if you have anything, uh, any last experience or experience, anecdotal experience from somebody you know who's experienced Bigfoot, you want to go ahead and share that with us? I'm not right off the top of my head, no. Um, but I do appreciate the time. All right. Yeah. All right, Lauren, thank you so much for calling in today. You're very welcome. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Now, why is it that I could have sworn that you were about to say, if anybody out there in this dimension or the next, <laughs> would like to call in with a claim please do Ooh, so if we could get a call from someone from another dimension right? i'm totally for it or somebody who's a time traveler someone who's a werewolf i've been dying for a werewolf call oh uh, or a skinwalker i'm not picky somebody who changes yeah <laughs> uh, I, I do want to while we got a quick break between calls here i want to thank you cynthia mcdonald for your uh for your super chat earlier, uh, we are doing our best up here and having a good time doing it, talking to some uh, some great callers about some uh, some wild claims. Uh, so-